Hello everybody, again. I decided to make a video, finally found the time to make a video about how I build the, the mechanism that moves the solar panels from east to west. So uh, I'm going to take it apart. I already disassembled it, but so make it faster, right? To show what's inside this <laughs> so-called black box. So inside the box, well, first of all, this is the hub from the car. You notice it, you can use any hub you want to. I used the Jeep Grand Cherokee rear hub from 2014. Uh, the reason I used that is <laughs> because I had one for free. A second one, second reason was because usually the front drive vehicles uh, are gonna take it out. So the front drive vehicles put the screw in the front because the, apparently the bearing inside is made out of two pieces. So if you don't tie it together from both ends with an axle, uh, from what I understand, it can kind of fall apart. So that's why I decided to use this, but you can use any, any kind of hub as long as you just tie it together so it doesn't fall apart. So uh, this is rear, uh, from rear axle of uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee. And that's pretty strong too, so it's designed for a lot of abuse. So that's the reason why I use that. And I fabricated this um, axis uh, so the motor inside moves the hub on the top, right? That's what it, it is. Just goes inside there and then another side attached to the uh, motor. Okay. Okay, there you go. This is a lining from the fish pond outside. I just had a piece of rubber again. <laughs> Free. 
uh, there you go. That's what it's made of. Uh, again, I used whatever metal I had. Uh, this is just angle iron for free. I had the two plates, identical plates. They use their half inch, so they can take a lot of abuse to those are half inch plates. As you can see there, they are pretty thick. And uh, inside, so this is the motor that moves the panel from east to west. Let me pull it out and show you what the motor is all about. I already unscrewed it. The screws hold the motor from the bottom. So I unscrewed it and pulls out just like that. And that's the motor. It's the motor I had again for free from the garage opener. It's a 24 volt motor right there. However, it works fine with 12 volt. Uh, system. It's just a bit slower, which I actually need to be a bit slower. Uh, it's slow in itself, right? But it's not slow enough to move the east to west panels with the speed I needed. So that's why I bought this reducer. It's really cheap and I tried to find uh, the link and I'll put the link where I bought it. It wasn't too expensive. It's an aluminum body. It's a cast aluminum body and it reduces the speed of RPMs from from 100 to 1. So this motor has to make 100 RPMs in order to move this axle, just one complete uh, rotation. Okay, so that's why it's very slow, but at the same time, it's very strong. So you can move a lot of weight, a lot of resistance. It can handle a lot of resistance. And again, here that's how it looks from the side. That's where the motor goes in, and that's where the axle. That spark moves really slow and it can just handle a lot of weight because of the slow RPMs. Now let me show you the label on this motor, okay? So you can see what is it all about there. I'm not sure if it's... I'm gonna put a picture of the, put a picture of the label so it will be easy to see. And again, so I attached it from inside there, you can see the screws. So before I welded the top plate, I welded the brackets inside to feed this um, uh, RPM reducer inside. And there you go, there are two more screws attached to it. And that's it. Simple system, really simple. Cost me next to nothing. The only thing I paid for, really, is this uh, reducer, which wasn't too expensive. But everything else, motor, free. Actually, <laughs> Uh, the garage door opener was op uh, broken and somebody just threw it in the garbage and that's where I got this made in Germany by the way uh, this I got for free because I bought the vehicle and the guy just threw some of the uh, parts with it so he didn't have to pay for that and piece of metal I'm pretty sure everybody can find cheap metal and maybe use metal somewhere right to do that I actually drew a big hole for the hub to sit in there so this hub sits in there and I used a regular bimetal uh, hole saw. I was just going very slow RPMs on my drill press and didn't dull it at all. It took me a little while, but it went really smooth. So I drilled this hole, and then set it up and uh, marked the holes for the, for the screws. And the holes, I tapped them so the thread is inside so I can just attach it with regular screws like that. And that's it. Pretty simple, uh, works fine. More, more importantly, it's really cheap, okay? So uh, I'm happy with it. Worked for, uh, for a year for me. No problems whatsoever. Okay, I hope I answered some of your questions.